Hey Sunny Crew, I am Sam Candler and today we are talking about one of my biggest passions, kettlebells. We're going to work on kettlebell skills for working your upper body, your lower body, and your core all together. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you because in 2022 my goal has been to master our kettlebell moves. So I'm going to share some of the things that I have learned over this past few months. The first move we're going to go over is a staggered stance halo. So a halo is a great opportunity to mobilize and stabilize your shoulders while getting them warmed up. So with a staggered stance, that just means we have one foot in front of the other, but my legs are still like railroad tracks. They're not right like a tight rope. I've got my right leg off to the right, my left leg off to the left. Then I'm gonna hold the kettlebell upside down, holding by the horns. From here, starting right in front of my chin, I'm gonna go like a clock all the way around my body and down. So right around my head to my neck and back and front. We'll do one more going in this direction and then we'll reverse. Keep your core tight. We don't wanna be arching our back here, but what we do want is to get a lot of extension here out of the shoulder. You can notice right here, my left arm is really reaching back as I bring it around. And that is our staggered stance kettlebell halo. Now that our shoulders are warmed up, we're going to work on a reverse lunge with an isometric kettlebell overhead hold. It sounds like a lot, I know, but it's actually pretty simple. I'm gonna take my kettlebell from my rack position right here in front of my body, straight overhead, like I'm gonna punch the ceiling. Then from here, I'll head into a reverse lunge. So I'm gonna leave my right leg static and I'm gonna take my left leg back into a lunge and then restack. From the side, you'll see I've got my arm right by my bicep, still punching the ceiling, left leg comes back into my reverse lunge, and then I stand back. Let's do one more. That's it, that's the kettlebell reverse lunge with an isometric overhead hold. Up next, we are going to work your back and your core with a staggered stance row. So we visited this staggered stance already in our halos, and we'll do it again here. So we're gonna have one foot a little bit back, but this time we're going to aggressively hinge at our hips. That looks like that. So if you're having trouble getting into that position, think about karate chopping right at your hip joint, karate chop them back. Now from here, I've got a flat back from the top of my head all the way down to my tailbone. And from this position, I'm gonna row with my left arm bringing my elbow past my body, and then right back down. Now keep in mind, the point of this motion is at your shoulder blades. You wanna glide your shoulder blade across your back and then down. Let's do one more, head and neck neutral. That's it. That is a staggered stance kettlebell row. So up next, we have a push press. This is a great full body exercise. We'll work your lower body as well as your upper body. And we already know that with our halo and our overhead hold, we've got our shoulders plenty warm. So here, we're going to keep a vertical spine. And here, we'll sink down, knees go out just a little, and then we'll press straight up all in one motion. So you'll notice that my lower body and my upper body are all rising together. So we're right down, straight up. Let's do one more. Inhale on the way down, exhale up. That is our kettlebell push press. Next up, we have a kettlebell squat with bicep curl, another great option to work our entire body. So we'll start by holding the kettlebell, this time with our thumbs pointing down. That's very important to get started. So you can see here, We'll sink into a squat and we're going to pause at the bottom for a moment. Chest is nice and open. My elbows are right in between my thighs. I'll bicep curl and then I'll stand tall. Back down, lock in tight here. Nice bicep curl and rise. Let's keep a lot of tension in our hips as we hold here. Nice tall posture and up. That is our, our kettlebell squat with bicep curl. Our final exercise today is a kettlebell swing. It's one of the most foundational kettlebell exercises, yet it's often one of the most misunderstood. So for our kettlebell swing, 
it's very important that we start with our bell in front of us. So here I've formed a triangle. I've got my kettlebell and my two feet, right? A nice, good triangle. I'm gonna hinge my hips back, just that karate chop motion we made here, and reach forward to the bell. Now my chest is open and I'm going to pull my shoulder blades down my back, which actually tilts the kettlebell back towards me. Now I'm ready to start. From here, I'm going to hike the kettlebell back between my legs and then stand tall. It looks like this. So that's one rep. We're gonna do five in a row. At the top of the motion, keep your abs nice and tight like a standing plank. One more rep. That's it. That is our kettlebell swing. So those are six highly beneficial kettlebell exercises that you can incorporate into your next routine. I can't wait to see what you got.